before we can go ahead and melt the uh, ingredients uh, you just saw, we need to cap the end of what's going to be the actual engine uh, casing. So this is a six inch piece of one inch uh, PVC. It's schedule 40. I don't know if it's written right here or not, but uh, you really, it isn't, but it'll show up as SCH 40 amongst the writing. That was probably over here somewhere. Um, because this is uh, tougher than most PVC and will handle pressure and heat better. So what I'm going to do is mix this epoxy here. This happens to be JB Quick. Um, you can use any epoxy really. And I'm going to mix into that some of uh, the cat litter I have for my cat. Um, and then we'll put that in one end, pack it in good. That'll be one end cap, um, the most important one that will become the nozzle. But that has to be done first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I've got the uh, epoxy mixed pretty well. I'm going to add some of this. It makes the epoxy go further, um, gives it bulk. Uh, so just mix the kitty litter in there really good. You have to fill up a decent size because a decent depth of the PVC too, because the heat coming from the burning fuel will want to burn it, of course, and you don't want it to be so thin it blows right out and ruins your nozzle. So I crammed it all in there, but I'm going to have to set it like this. I'm going to get a dowel and smash from the top to make sure it's all flattened at the bottom good. Couldn't find my dowel, so I'm just using the end of a construction pencil here. But uh, it's working fine, of course. You just need something flat that you can push it down to the end and flatten the end there. We'll eventually drill a hole in here to make our nozzle. But there you go. All right. So that's got to harden and dry first. All right, we're starting to see the earliest signs of melting here. Uh, again, I'm gonna keep this on medium to medium high heat, not really warm because the idea is to make it into a paste similar to peanut butter is what they say. And it's pretty close to that. So I'm gonna keep mixing away here. Uh, and then when it's ready, we'll put it in our finished, already finished tube here. So we're almost there. I'm going to turn this off so I can work with this and uh, be back when it's already poured. So I'm almost done here. It's a little bit of a messy process, but you'll find that, yeah, it's just the way it is. Just scrape it up and put it in here. Tap it down from time to time. Even poke in a, a thin screwdriver or something to make sure the air bubbles come out, which I've been doing. Uh, and we're almost done here. Okay, I'm done here. Uh, it filled this to the top. That was a little bit unexpected, actually. And I'm not going to put a cap at the top. We're, this is just a test. Um, and I'd say at the bottom here, this is probably about a half inch worth of uh, a plug we made earlier. So five and a half inches of uh, material. And it fit well. Anyway, so this, unlike an Estes rocket engine, needs to be drilled right through the center through most of it at least three quarters if not five six of it because um as this burns if it doesn't have that center core uh, made where air can get in it'll burn and it will collect the uh, debris will collect here and then it'll burn between here with a cap that's hard and the bottom that's hard and it'll blow up so we don't want that so we'll need to drill uh probably a good four and a half to five inches into this through here, which will make the nozzle and also create the core, the air core that we need. Okay, almost done. So I drilled a hole three sixteenths of an inch all the way through the engine. It's not necessary to go all the way through, but uh, I did. So uh, yeah, we'll be putting this either on a rocket or on a long stick to test it here soon. So I have my uh, six inch PVC rocket engine we just made. I've taped it to a long stick here. There's a fuse there and I've taped a streamer at the end uh, just to make sure that it keeps going straight up. It'll cause some drag there and uh, keep the 
top going topside. So here we go. Fourth of July.